And I believe this is a really, really big injury. James Paxton underwent a microscopic lumbar disectomy with removal of a paradiscal cyst. He did it today. His approximate timeline to return to Major League Baseball action is three to four months. And here's what I don't get about that until we get all the information. He hasn't pitched yet in spring training. I don't even know if he's down in Tampa. Probably not yet. So this is an injury that was pre-existing. Why did you wait until February 5th to have the surgery? Whoa. And now he's going to wait for, I, I guess what the, the June, answer would be. be a June return. Uh, the answer will be this. Well, we were treat, treating a conservative to see if it got better, and it didn't. Unless, is this around the time where you get your physicals before the start of the season? Maybe it was something that was just discovered. Well, Maybe. remember, he had that problem in the, on uh, his upper buttocks or whatever mm -hmm. last year. This sounds like that's what it's from. So, again, I don't want to play doctor here on the no. radio. But that that's you can't say that's not an insignificant blow. Because, remember, down the stretch, he was 10-0 and 0 last year. He was no, really good. That. But you're getting him back in June. So what does your rotation look like now? You've got Cole at the top of your rotation, right? Right. Tanaka. Tanaka. Um, Severino. Now Jay Happ and Jordan Montgomery. All right. I mean, you're, you're okay. You're okay until June. All I right. mean, I, I don't care. You can't sit there and tell me if the Yankees are, I don't know what the record would be. Let's say, let's say they're, they're, they're 15 and 30 in June. You can't blame that on Paxton. You no. should be able to survive it. Montgomery is a guy that belongs in this rotation as a fifth starter. You, you should be able to survive it. You tell me he's out for the year, I could see you're a little concerned about it. But if he's pitching in June, which means you're going to have him healthy for the entire second half of the season. And then you'll also have Domingo Herman join the rotation. You, you, well, we don't, do we know? At some point. I mean, he's going to, uh, did, 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 they, they, they've given a suspension, right? How, how long was it? A couple of months? And so he's going to join somewhere in the middle of the season. You have Davey Garcia. The, but They're if the fine. Yankees had plans to trade Jay Happ, though, to get under that third luxury tax threshold, now you can't really trade yeah. Trey Happ. Fans don't seem to care about that. I mean, the current roster seems to be pretty set. I mean, you should, you got to be able to... So Herman's 63 games left in his suspension. Okay. So that's about two and a half months. If you're a baseball team, Michael, you have to factor in injuries to your starting rotation. It just makes sense. I mean, mm -hmm. how often do you go through the entire year without somebody of your top five in the rotation going down and going on the disabled list for a significant amount of time? So it just happens that it's going to be at the start of the year. Montgomery is going to be your guy that's your fifth starter and is available to you whenever somebody gets hurt. Now, but you don't have the CC factor. Now, let's be honest, though. Your fourth starter would have been... Either Tanaka or Severino. That's a big difference between Jay Happ and your fifth starter would have been Jay Happ, and that's a big difference between Jay Happ and Jordan Montgomery. With their offense, I get what you're saying. It shouldn't be something that derails them, but you can't say it's an insignificant injury. It's significant. Well, it, it, it's significant seems strong, Michael, because you're going to lose guys in your rotation. You can't expect everybody to go out there yeah, and make thirty plus starts. You don't expect to lose them in spring training. But I'd rather lose. I, I would rather lose them till June than find out in September I don't have them for for October and a playoff run. I mean, I think the Yankees. Listen, you never know. Obviously, that the Rays might actually be better. Maybe Toronto gets there a year earlier than we expect. But this is a team that I think th is the odds-on favorite to win the division. You can't let. What would he have been? Your third starter. Who? Paxton. You got second or third. Second or third starter. Sit there and say significant means that it's gonna it's gonna hurt you. You're not gonna be where you want to be in June because of that loss. And I and I think that that's that's a little bit of hyperbole. I think that they can survive this easily. Oh, They've that, got that, an offense that should be able to win some games. If you told me he's not available for the postseason, then that's significant to me. If I have him pitching for me in June, but I, I'm I, good. I think you're underselling it because if he misses half the season, right, three months. Well, that's right? not. But now so, you're extending. Well, yeah, no, no, yeah, it's but, three to four months. So you no, three to four months from now, put him back June first. Yeah, but he's got to get ready too. So I'm just, let, okay. let's just say a liberal interpretation: what he's going to be come back mid-season. Okay. So he's going to miss 15 starts. So those 15 starts are now being taken up by Jordan Montgomery, who is who's. A, a, a nice pitcher. He's not James Paxton. When James right. Paxton, but, but, but how many? But that's but, a, that's a big deal. I'm no, sorry. No, because what? How many starts are we talking about? Fifteen. All right, 15. they make thirty starts. All right, uh, what, a season. what can Paxton be in those? What will the Yankees' record be 
with Paxton making all 15 of those starts. 15 and 0. No. I know. 13 and 2, 12 and 3. All right, so 12 and 3. So what would their record be with Montgomery making those 15 starts? Maybe 9 and 6. That's three games. Uh, three games to me is not significant for a team that many expect to win over 100 games again. We had the same conversation when we thought Didi was going to be out for half the year. Did they miss him? At the, well, so and that's an everyday player. There's two ways to look at this. There's, oh, here we go. The Yankees are going to miss games. It's not going to be a big deal. And, and oh, we're, Don and I are hearing everyone get worried again. There's nothing to worry about. Then there's the flip side of here we go again. This is the first injury. What if it's like last year? What if all of a sudden you're going, well, this isn't that big a deal. And then before you know it, you turn around. And you have many, like, just the fact that we're talking about an injury already that you hadn't heard of at all. Right, nobody stepped on a blade of grass yet. It, it, that's problematic in the sense that they're coming off a year where every possible injury seemed to happen. So it's not ideal, but I'm kind of with Don. I don't see this being something that derails the season.